difference between an RDL and a stiff leg or a straight leg deadlift? Let's talk about it. Don't you want to look good naked? So what's the difference between an RDL and a stiff leg or straight leg deadlift? Really, the difference is the amount of knee bend that is created as you're performing the movement. So RDLs can be classified in many different ways. Uh, stiff leg or straight leg deadlifts can also be called, called RDLs. And it really doesn't matter what they're called, it's just the execution of it. So what is your main goal? With stiff leg or straight leg deadlifts, typically it's going to be to target your hamstrings more. So you're keeping your legs stiff, more stiff or more straight. Uh, and so when you're coming into that deadlift, because your legs are straighter, you're actually biasing your hamstrings a bit more than your glutes. In the opposite direction for, not opposite, but in another direction for RDLs or Romanian deadlifts, typically we're gonna have a slight bend in our knee. However, some people perform RDLs with a straight leg. So this is all super confusing probably. The biggest thing to think about is what is my main intent for performing this movement? Am I trying to bias my hamstrings a little bit more or am I trying to bias my glutes a little bit more? So if you want to bias your glutes a little bit more, you wanna have a slight bend in your knee. So like a 15 degree bend in your knee is going to disadvantage your hamstrings a bit and bias your glutes a little bit more. Not saying that your hamstrings are not still working during the movement, they definitely are, and you're definitely gonna feel them working, but if you bend your knee a little bit, you can take a little bit of the tension away from the hamstrings and put it on the glutes a little bit more. And then vice versa happens. If you keep your legs a little bit more stiff or straight, you're going to be able to bias your hamstrings a bit more and take a little bit away from your glutes. Your glutes and your hamstrings are always gonna be working when you're doing any type of RDL movement. It just comes down to what you want to bias a little bit. So when it comes to technique differences between RDLs and stiff leg or straight leg deadlifts, they're gonna be pretty similar. The main focus points are going to be that hip hinge. So pushing your butt back and staying within your active range of motion so not coming too low. Another thing is going to be thinking about a neutral spine. So keeping your spine, neck, and head in a neutral alignment. I like to think about tucking my chin just a bit throughout the entire range of motion as I'm coming down. That helps me just think about keeping that spine in alignment throughout the entire motion. So those are gonna be the two technique things that are pretty much staying the same without within the entire movement. Um, another thing to think about is creating as much tension as possible within your glutes and hamstrings. Again, which one are you trying to bias a little bit more? Is it your hamstrings? Again, that's gonna be more of the straight leg, or is it your glutes? That's gonna be more of a little bit of a knee bend. Women, we believe 